day and dwell on the words of David. <clears throat> Hear now the word, the words of the true and living God. <clears throat> psalm 64. To the choir master, a psalm of David. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the throng of evildoers, who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows, shooting from ambush at the blameless, shooting at him suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, who can see them? They search out injustice, saying, we have accomplished a diligent search. For the inward mind and heart of a man are deep, but God shoots his arrow at them. They are wounded suddenly. They are brought to ruin with their own tongues turned against them. All who see them will wag their heads. Then all mankind fears. They tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart exult. Please bow your heads as we pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord of hosts, you are a marvelous, you are marvelous and full of wonder. Your creation is full of beauty and your glory is displayed for all to see. The earth moves in a perfect pattern while the sun remains in its place all by the power of your word. There is no one who can carry an excuse to deny your perfect order. And help us all sit and think about what you have done for us and how much of your grace is displayed in all of your creation. For your love is as vast as an ocean and your mercy is an endless gift. Father, help us use Psalm 64 this week to remind us that when we are surrounded by our enemies, we must dwell on your goodness. For though our enemies are different than David's, they want the same thing. That is to destroy your word and your people from the face of the earth. But Father, you have promised that this cannot be so. For you sent your son to live and breathe and die on this earth to save the lost and bring your people back. You will not lose a single soul. And you will turn all your enemies into absolutely nothing. And though we have sinned many sins against you, we still have hope when we put our faith in Christ Jesus. And who has loved us like this? Where else can we go to find a pardon from the crimes we have committed against you? And Father, help us take our sin seriously. For only then can we truly see and know you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father, we also ask that you do not neglect your people in Egypt. We beg you to watch over them and deliver them from their enemies. Remove their enemies' evil purpose and desire to fight against your son and your people. Lord, please change this nation for your good. Remove the tongues of those who despise your word and lie about your creation. Father, how long will you let this, this Muslim leadership rule the nations of the Middle East? Please help your children who have been beaten and starved and spit on for their faith. Show them your promises in Scripture to grow their wisdom and faith and knowledge of Jesus Christ. And though they lose their life, Father, they will not lose their life in eternity. Father, we also ask for your grace and mercy on our nation. For we are a wicked people full of secret plots to destroy your plans of redemption. Our country does not know up from down or down from up. Our morality is quickly fading. So we also beg you to change our people to worship and fear you and you alone. Remove our worthless leaders who hate your word and lie about what injustice really is. And change us according to your will for your glory forever. We also want to lift up today's worship service and members meeting. May you grant us with more wisdom and knowledge of the work of your son. And save anyone who does not think they have sinned against you and your perfect law. Father, remind us all that our goodness is filthy rags and cannot deliver us from your judgment. For even a single little lie is worthy of eternal suffering and separation from you because you are perfect and demand perfection from your people. 
Therefore, it is only by believing in the work of Jesus Christ that we can stand in the right before you. And Father, break the hearts of your people so they can worship you rightly and truly find joy in this life. We ask this in Christ's name for your glory. Amen. Thank you.